this video I'm just quickly just going to demonstrate um, the usefulness um, and some things that you can do with the unique ID uh, value that X-Ways Forensics provides you with. Um, quick reminder on ensuring that it's visible to you. Uh, the unique ID value there, I've just added a column width of 74 pixels but you can choose what you like and as a reminder you can click the radio button and up and down to move its location um, and you can also filter by it as well but um, I'm not going to do that so um, with your unique ID column visible you can sort by it um, just like you can any other column um, and because of how X-Ways Forensics generally processes evidence um, by my understanding at least is that for each item that it comes across as you refine the volume snapshot um, an email for example and its attachments will all be dealt with at the same time so the attachments are generally the next uh, ID value uh, than its parent email. Um, the unique ID is slightly different to the internal ID in, in as much as the unique ID is unique to the entire case so in this case this email uh, foreign ruffian is 0-739 um, the first number um, by my understanding is the partition uh, of the particular evidence object that you've added and then the following number is uh, the item within that partition so if you've got several forensic images added um, this helps keep the item unique um, but what's interesting is that you can export files in XY Forensics as I'm sure you all know um, and by default it will inherit the uh, file name um, but what's not obvious uh, at first glance is that you can export the objects using their unique ID value only um, and uh, a friend of mine uh, worked that out the other day and we've already put a request into Stefan to um, ask if it's possible to have the option of using the unique ID or the file name with the unique ID as well um, and that's been added I gather in 18.1 uh, in the preview version I think um, uh, and so I expect that will be out soon anyway this video is using 18.0 so I won't be able to show you that new edition but I can show you how to export the files so let's say I want to export all of these um, we right click as usual choose recover copy and choose where you want to send your output to now you'll notice in here that there's nothing obvious that suggests anything about the unique ID um, and what's additionally important is like with a lot of things in X ways one option will affect the other um, and it does say that in the help in fairness um, the unique ID option is with this ellipsis here if you tick it uh, click it rather it comes up with this box name output files after unique ID so all the files outputted will be named after the unique ID this is the bit that I think Stefan has changed um, in that now it's a three state checkbox in that um, one of the three states I can't remember which will give you the option to uh, use the file name and the ID uh, but for now it's just true or false so if I choose that um, it will work but only if this one is unchecked if I check that and now click on this it becomes totally different and that's to do with the way that x Forensics might have a, a file with child items and so on the file system in order to contain those child items it needs to create directories um, it does say all this in the little help if you click on here um, this section here um, refers to the bit I'm just talking about um, and this bit down the bottom I think refers to um, the first checkbox that I've just been referring to um, so with that unticked we can have that do that and I'm going to send it to this test output click OK it exports the files and then uh, in here are my files named after their ID 
So as you can see, 739, 740, 741, 739, 740, 741, and so on. Um, whereas, if you tick that and just click OK, it will rebuild the whole path and call it as usual. Quite a nice feature.